Hello everybody, Aro Dance here and welcome back to If My Heart Heart Wins, the Bulldog's version. That's right! So let's continue with the game guys, huh? The last time, as you remember, Kotori made her decision, so she just tell no to Miyata, right? And well, we had fun at the Shore Lake again, oh no, my god. We saw her in her bikini and she has a pretty hot body. Oh, fuck. Anyway, now we are here in a pretty fucked up weather because you know it's raining right now. And, well, let's see what this bitch is gonna tell us. Come on. Yeah, yeah come on, fucking cunt. <laughs> ah. What do you want, my slutty ex waifu? Yeah, oh, hiyo. Good morning, Yageha. Where is Katori? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, alright. Oh my god. What did she do? Did she masturbate to me? <laughs> Yesterday, after swimming in the lake, Ageha had spent the night in Katori's room. Yeah, because I remember they were having a conversation. Huh? Hmm. They were excited about having a pyjama party. Oh, really? I heard them whispering until late at night. Alright, so <laughs> in that conversation, they were in their pyjamas? I mean, they are sleeping with their, the clothes they are using every day? <laughs> Come on! Yeah, don't you see it? Ah, fuck this fucking weather. I hate the raining. Yeah, it seems like it'll continue for a while. Oh, damn it. I had took some milk from the fridge and poured it into a glass. Oh yeah. She loved milk, you know? Fuck! I remember her fucking words from her roots. I will make you prime. My fucking man Aoi. Mm, I love your fucking cum. Oh, sorry, fuck, but come on, this bitch is so fucking dirty. Oh. <laughs> Listen to this shit. <laughs> oh, that's cool, but come on. Oh my god, that, you know, that fucking look, look, look reminds me when she was, uh, she was slowing off the camp of this motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you remember the third HC? Oh my fuck. Uh, <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> Oh my god, why do I have to remember those shit? Sorry, but I think I got a travel from those those fucking things. Hmm? Oh yeah. Oh well, I'm glad, uh, yeah. Alright, so now you're asking uh, asking him about this shit, right? Yeah, after you talk to Kotori, now you're talking to this guy. Hmm. Yeah, she's our messenger, you know? Uh oh. We have a messenger, Aeka Himegi, my slutty ex-waifu, is going to help our dudes. <laughs> Alright, that's a good thing, you know? Yeah, great. She asked it so frankly that it took me a moment to comprehend the question. Hmm? Oh, okay. Yeah, I do. I answered slightly dejected, partly because I was embarrassed, but also because I was a little frustrated she asked about it so easily like it was nothing. Oh my god, and the dog of the fucking neighbor is barking again, oh damn it, sorry for that dude. Mm. Yeah, you can say that shit pretty easy, but come on, this motherfucker is stupid. It's not that easy, yeah, I knew it, yeah, yeah, it's understandable. Yeah. There is a soaring club and the and me being the dumb mother after all, more about there are her feelings too. Uh huh. Mm, yeah, this motherfucker doesn't know anything about that, you know? Uh, I have said this while drinking her milk. Uh, please, text, fucking text, don't tell me this shit because it reminds me of her fucking roots. I will meet you dry. Mwah. Oh, fuck, sorry, damn it! I have no idea. Sorry, because I'm a stupid guy. For the reason. I always choking a lot of bullshit. <sighs> All I know is that she doesn't hate me. Yeah, that's the, <laughs> the only thing he knows. <sighs> Even if I said 
I like her, various things could happen. Mm hmm, yeah. Besides, if it didn't work out, I might make her feel cornered. Mm -hmm. She relies on me, right? But when I think about what would happen if things got a work, mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Not when you're right, dude. Ugh. I have sounds a little angry. Yeah, as always. And why you, do you say this kind of shit, huh, bitch? Oh? Uh? Yeah, because she's my wife, you know? Ugh. For no what? Yeah. Uh, well, because this motherfucker is the only one who can help here. I mean, Kanako doesn't do any help for these guys. Huh? And the other uh, girls? I mean, you, Kasanae, and Ryoko. Where are they? We don't see them too much here. I haven't seen them since the last time this bastard declared his love to you in your route, you know? Oh my fuck. Come on, I had. They stop talking a lot of stupid shit. No, that's not it. Yeah. But come on. He still let this motherfucker down. Just tear him out to get that bitch. Ugh. Stupid fucking cunt. Well, thing to say. Yes, I do what I want. Yeah. In any case, nothing will come from continuing on like this. Mm. I have to do something about these feelings. I'm fast. Uh huh. That's right. Yeah. So come on, dude. Just shut up and come on. Have the courage to tell her. I love you. I love you, my tearful shaking Kotori. I wanna date you, and then I wanna make you reach the stars in the sky. With this biggest dick I got here, <laughs> sorry. Ah, oh, damn it. And this fucking weather, look at this shit. Oh, oh Hibari's here. Oh my god, it's been a while since we saw her, you know? Damn. To be honest, I miss her so much. How are you, Orihime? I mean, Hibari. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, I need to see your water. <clears throat> yeah, you may ask why I call her Orihime Because, as you know it, she and Orihime have the same voice actress Yeah, I don't remember the name of this actress But she voiced Hibari Habane and Orihime Shiratori from I Sky for Her Stars For that reason <laughs> Anyway, yeah, I call her Orihime on purpose, you know Alright Oh, hey, hello Hibari, how are you? I miss you so much. Here we are with my beautiful sister in love. Oh my god, damn, yeah, you know? You know the good thing that so far I got very nice sister in laws. Yeah, you remember in Ayaka's route I got Hotaru, a little and cute sister in law. Now we are here with a very beautiful lady like Hibari, right? Hello, senorita. How are you? Te extrañé mucho, hermosa señorita. Ah, oh, sorry. Konnichiwa, minase-san. Yeah, how are you? Hibari? Hibari ni, hibari ni. Yeah, remember when Kotori said that? Hibari ni, hibari ni. Ah, yeah. Hibari arrived from walking in the rain a little past noon. Oh, really? Oh my god, that's fucked up. You have to stand this fucking shit to arrive here? Oh damn! I really admire you, girl. Fuck. He body used to come once a, a week. Oh really? But lately her visits became a bit less frequent. It was her first visit in summer break had started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for reason I tell, I'm telling you, I didn't see her in a while. Wow. I haven't seen you in a while. Yeah, <laughs> that's the same thing I'm talking about. Yeah, 
Don't worry, girl. I'm supervising her, and you know she's a fucking bitch. I'm sorry for telling you that. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> to let you down. Yeah, sorry, I fucked up that shit. Yeah, I can tell, but come on, don't be so paranoid. Ah, oh. she said unhappily. Knowing her, it's likely that she would just visit every day if possible. Yeah, but don't worry about that, please. As I told you, I'm taking care of her, so don't worry. She's in good hands, and if she does something bad, I'm gonna kick her ass. Okay, sorry. <laughs> but it's unusual for you to come at this time. Yeah, that's right, and even with this fucking weather. She usually comes at night. Mm, all right. Ah, uh, what is it? Hibari sound determined and her expression go serious. Oh, what is she going to tell her? Ah, uh, what is it? What is it? She looks so fucking dark. <laughs> oh damn, I miss this kind of face, you know? Okay, she's telling her to go home. Yeah, because of their families, right? But come on, girl, just go to see your family once in a while, you know? Yeah, come on, bitch. Don't be so fucking mean. Ugh. Yeah, come on, don't be so bitchy. Ah. He miss you. Oh my fuck! You're a pretty bad daughter, you know? Yeah, come on, bitch. Oh, damn it, she's so stubborn. Come on, little bitch. ん、昔のことよ。二人とも今は反省してるし。だから、ね。あ、もう That was a day trip, you were only home for a little bit. Mm, what the hell just happened at that day? I wonder. Alright, now she got serious, look at her face. I never saw her with this face, you know, now she's mad. Huh? Come on, you fucking cunt! Go to see your family! <sighs> Damn it. Ah, come on, girl. If you want to get her right now, I will call a taxi right now. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this fucking cunt. Ugh. And her shitty face. Uh, oh my god, Hibari. She's so fucking sweet. <laughs> I feel bad for her, you know? Yeah, I feel bad that she has a pretty bad, um, bitchy sister. あ。そうよ。そのつもり。じゃあ、学校卒業した後はどうするの now what the hell is she going to do? Listen to this music. What? Huh? What? Look at this fucking war. Are you telling this shit to attack your own sister? Are you serious? What the hell? Come on, Hibari, just this kid her ass. Oh my god. No, no, no. Okay, this is something bad, you know? I can't stand this shit. 
You are attacking your sweet sister? Oh my god, Kotori. You are the devil, you know what the fuck? She's a bossy devil! <sighs> Damn it. <laughs> oh. Poor Hibari, you know I feel bad for her. <sighs> and look at this fucking shit. You know, if I were Aoi, I would kill this fucking bear. Put cookies and then I give that shit to someone who likes ducks. Because I don't like this shit. Oh, fucking animal. Oh. <laughs> oh, poor, poor Hibari. Oh my god. <sighs> Damn it. You know, it would be nice if she has a root, you know? I don't know if there is a fan list where Hibari has a root. Well, Daniel Dawson, tell me there's a fan list where we can get a root for this girl, you know? Because to be honest, she's so sweet and I like her so much. Oh my god, I need a sip of water, sorry. Uh, Alright, let's go. Oh my fuck. No, 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 poor lady. Driving away by hat, Hibari rush out of Kortori's room. Ugh. Whoa, hey, cut it out, hat! Yeah, come on, fucking thing. Just get his ass. Get this fucking duck. I don't give a fuck if this is a fucking animal. Ugh. Get the fuck out of here, little shit. Are you alright, Hibari? Yeah? Oh. Poor my sweet wife, Horihime. I mean, Hibari, sorry. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that shit on purpose again. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, sorry. Oh my god. Where's your black car, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, come on. Yeah, yeah, come on, Ordance. Stop doing that shit. Don't call her Orihime. She's Hibari. Uh. But every time she talks, every time I listen to her voice, I remember my wife Orihime. Oh my god. That sweet and beautiful lady who has big ass sticks. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, sorry. <laughs> Fuck this, come on. Come on, I'll just get her ass right now. Go through the retreat cut, shut the door and lock it. <sighs> oh my god, Kotori. You went too far this time, bitch. Huh? I'm telling you. <sighs> What's with her? What's the fuck with her? Yeah. What the fuck is going on with this bitch? Huh? Oh, to be honest, she pisses me off! Oh. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, so far I got pretty bad luck, you know? I had pretty bad luck with the waifus of this game. First of all, Ageha, the fucking slut. And now with this bitchy cunt, Kotori. <sighs> oh my god. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, please don't feel bad. Sorry for this fucking bitch. I'm gonna teach her some manners later. Don't worry. What earth has been happened just now? It seems like a quarrel about whether she turn return home or not. Mm -hmm, yeah. I guess while preparing tea. But something happened, right? Something happened in New Year's Eve. What the hell was that? What do you mean by taking her home? Yeah, 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 but come on. I felt relief when I heard that. Yeah, because you don't want to lose her, right? Even though she's a bitch, but come on, oh my god, if I were you, I would say, Oh, thank goodness! Now I'm free of this bitch, oh! Finally! Now, let's celebrate! Come on! Let's throw a party in this fucking manner! <laughs> Sorry. Uh, don't say that, please, Orihime. I mean, Hibari! Come on! <laughs> Why would she go home? She isn't getting along with her family? Mm hmm. Yeah? I asked you the same question. I thought it might be rude, but it was always on my mind, so I went ahead and asked. With a sad expression, Hibari stared at a drop of water that coiled about her glass of barley tea. Kotori-chan, what do you 
Mm, something like that. It was an accident, but we don't know uh, the details too much, you know? Yes, just a little. If I remember correctly, it was an accident during a family trip. Uh-huh. Oh, okay. Now I get it. Yeah, you know, I forgot about this detail. Yeah. So, in New Year's Eve, she got the accident. For the reason she don't want to go home again, right? She doesn't want to get in your, her arms or something? <laughs> yeah, but come on. She has pretty bad memories right now. Mm. I forgot about this, sorry guys. Ah. Maybe I had to watch the, that fucking... That fucking... Uh, yeah, that fucking scene. Yeah, to remember when she was sleeping in the streets? Yeah, <laughs> no, and that part. I have to watch that shit again to... To remember this shit. Sorry, sorry. Uh-huh, four years ago. Oh, okay, 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 because if we read this sheet, sorry, sorry, here, here, uh, what is it? Yeah, didn't you can, <clears throat> what is it, sorry. Uh-huh. Yeah, I went home for New Year's Day, that's enough. That was a day three, you were only home for a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. So she went home just, uh, uh, just the New Year's, the uh, New Year's Day, yeah, the last year, right? But no, she's not. In this part, she's not talking about what happened four years ago. Okay, sorry, sorry. I get it. Hmm, that was four years ago because of that accident. Our fun family trip was a disaster. <sighs> Everything was alright, but a fucking disaster came out. And we got this shit here. Yeah, you know, I feel bad for her and for Kotori, but come on, this fucking bitch doesn't, doesn't change at all. She's so bitchy! Oh my god. Mm, yeah, that's right. You never know what will happen in life. Yeah, very true words, you know? So fucking true. Oh my god. That's pretty bad. I mean... You can be alive right now, but tomorrow, maybe you could be dead. You get my point, right? Yeah. You know what the fuck will happen tomorrow, or maybe the day after tomorrow. Uh, fuck this. Ah. Uh, yeah. Life will give you surprise. Uh, you expect to keep living a perfectly ordinary life. But then suddenly, it's taken away from you without warning. Mm-hmm, that's right. Just like what happened to me. Mm-hmm, that's right. Oh! Yeah, I'm sorry for saying so many times the word, that's right, sorry. <laughs> but my situation can be compared with what was taken from the Havani family, mm-hmm. Yeah. I always thought it was strange, but why is Kotori living in a dorm? Mm-hmm. Yeah? Alright, because... She comes from a rich family, right? So why is she living here? Hmm? Usually when someone is disabled, they live with their family, right? Hmm, yeah? Otherwise, they enter a facility that has caregivers, caregivers or something. Mm hmm that's right. Okay. Mm. When in the Aiga's route, yeah, you remember when Aiga was trying to get naked Kotori because she wanted to measure her body, yeah? 
She said that she was a bit tall. Something like that, you know? Alright. She was a volleyball player. That's interesting. Mm, yeah. As she played volleyball back then, so now as she's disabled, she can play that shit again. Oh, that's pretty sad. But that's terrible. The one who has it the hardest is Kotori. Uh huh. He very not deeply. Oh my god, girl. <laughs> You're gonna make me cry right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> oh man, this is so sad, you know. I feel bad for everybody in that family, you know. Yeah, even for that fucking bitch Kotori, but come on. Ugh. Hmm. Alright, fucking cunt. You won. I understand you right now, but come on. You don't have to be so fucking bitchy all the time. Oh, I hurt that fucking personality, you know? Fuck. Ugh. Uh, nah. So because of that Kotori is, yeah. He very not. Mm. For the reason she doesn't want to get back home. Oh my god. Since I wasn't there, I can only imagine it. If I had to part with Kotori now, yeah, I would torture by suffering comparable to being torn apart. But the one who has in the hardest is Kotori. Yeah. Because she got disabled by that fucking accident. I am positive that her mom and dad both understood that and were trying their best to be considerate. But even so, it's not possible to bury all of that sadness and be as cheerful as before. That's right. But this guy missed her. So come on. Just go to see those guys in a while, please, girl. Ugh. I'm sure that sadness is too much for one person to bear. Unbelievably so. Yeah, at least she has some friends here, you know? Oh, yeah. Because I will become her husband, do. And she's my fucking bossy wife, you know? <laughs> Damn, that's fucked up. Mm -hmm, that's cool, yeah. At least she could forget a bit that she's disabled, you know? But anyway. Yeah, that's cool, but <laughs> she has to change her fucking bi bitchy personality, you know? But, but fuck. Oh, damn it. I don't think there is cure for bitchiness, but anyway, fuck this. And that's the case, if that's the case, it makes me happy too, yeah? If I could ease the sadness of Kotori and her family, even by just a little bit, I would do anything. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, now you're thinking like a good boyfriend, you know? Wow! <laughs> Yeah, that's right, you know. For the reason I tell you, this bitch has to see her dad and mom again. Ugh. But she's so stubborn. That's the thing I don't like, you know. I don't like stubborn people. <laughs> They're so annoying as fuck. 
お正月に帰った時は本当に嬉しそうで久しぶりに家の中が明るくなったんですよ。うん、ああ、だすこ。Seeing he very bright smile while saying this caused me to feel dull pain squeezing my chest. Yeah, but I'm so glad that she was so happy back then, you know. Oh my god. Now I'm seeing Hibari with black hair. The only thing I can see is. Orihime! <laughs> Sorry, fuck! Ah,、uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry for bringing up Orihime so many times, dudes, but come on! Ah. Just listen to her voice. Listen, listen. Listen. お正月に帰った時は本当に嬉しそうで久しぶりに家の中が明るくなったんですよ。Oh my god, I'm closing my eyes and I imagine that Orihime is speaking right now. Yeah, ah!、Oh. You know, the voice actress of these characters has a pretty sexy voice. I like that. Oh my god. Oh man, what was her name?、Oh. I have to remember her fucking name. Oh, damn it. Sorry, I'm gonna check it out later. Oh, and again, it's fucking rain. Hey, Kotori.、Oh, where are you, bitch? No reply. Don't tell me she's not in her room. Where are you, bitch? Kotori, I know you are there. Open the door already. Yeah, or else I'm gonna kick your ass. Or something better. I have a shotgun here. Y'all remember the fucking shotgun? When it was bang, bang, bang. And this fucking duck just came out. <laughs> you remember that shit? And then I made out to kick his ass. Oh, sorry. I heard the sound of the door being unlocked. Alright, you're there. Come on. Just come out already. I'm going in. Alright. Hibari ne ni tanomare te kita no? That's right. And again, we heard. Hibarine, Hibarine. Ah, fucking translator. No, she didn't. Look, what you did, Erla, was terrible. Yeah, that's right. What you did, Erla, was so fucking bitchy. Huh? You went too far right now, huh? You went too far that time. <sighs> fucking whore. Hunta, just a little bit of a joke. Ne, Hato. Listen to this. Stupid and childish bitch. Hinte! Hinte! What the fuck with that shit, huh? I hate when she s a y that, huh? Shut the fuck up, or else I'm gonna kill you right now. Ugh. Well, it seems that Kat just dropped her away by rustling about. He didn't、really、even beg her. Yeah! That said, even a frail girl may faint if attacked by a bird like that. But come on, that was a fucking asshole move. Ugh. You are a childish bitch, you know, I don't like you. Get the fuck out of here.、Ugh. I hate these two fucking things. Hat l o o k happy to be praised by Kotori.、Ugh. I took out a cucumber I had been hiding and waved in front of Hat. It's like you're giving this shit a price. What the fuck? Stay calm for a little bit, alright? Alright, you know, if I were him, I would put poison in the fucking cucumber so the shit will die. Oh. <laughs> I'm poisoning your fucking shit, huh? I can't have cats set after me, so. Yeah? Ah, too late, bitch. Now this fucking thing is going to eat that shit. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Hat didn't seem to hear his companion voice. He was engrossed in eating the cucumber, his favorite food. This fucking shit likes cucumbers? <sighs> Why do you have to, to feed the fucking animal with, with human food? Just give her some, some seeds or something, something like that.、Ugh. And why do you have a fucking duck in your fucking room, huh? Don't you have a fucking core or something? Uh huh, that's right. Huh? This fucking shit is just an animal. 
he's not a, a cle as clever as the humans, eh? Say, why won't you go home? Uh-huh. Oh, come on, bitch. Your family wants to see you right now, huh? Just go to your home and see your fucking parents. Ugh. Think of the guys who give you life, who raised you. Oh, come on, bitch. Don't be so fucking stubborn. Fuck. We'll be fine if you aren't here during the bomb festival. Mm hmm, that's right. It's not like that, but come on. They are your parents! <sighs> Don't you miss them? Fucking cunt. If it's only for the bomb festival, that's right. I knew that Kotori would be angry. Mm. I heard about the situation from Hibari. I think I understand your pain. Yeah, that's right, but come on. You have to act like a good daughter. But running away won't solve anything, will it? Uh-huh. So why you don't you want to see your parents, huh? You don't hate your mom and dad, right? After all, when you were talking about quitting the school before, you wanted to raise your, your dad? Huh? Kotori remained suddenly silent. Uh-huh, come on. Just talk. I mean, the rat just ate your fucking tongue? You're actually worried about your family, right? Hmm? Come on, don't deny it! Then it would hurt go to go back for just a bit, would it? If you won't be here during the bomb festival, we'll somehow cover up for you. Ah, so... <laughs> Damn it. As I told you, I hate Star Wars motherfuckers! Ah! Oh! oh. This girl pisses me off too much! Oh, damn it! <sighs> Kotori! <laughs> you know, this would be a pretty good time to give her a slap, you know? Come on, just wake up, bitch! Go to see your family! Oh my fuck! Hearing Kotori's shout mixed with tears, Hat stopped eating his cucumber and reflexively raised his head. Oh, now this little shit! Huh? Now you're regretting your words, right? You're so fucking mean! Sorry, I went too far. <laughs> this fucking bastard is too good, you know? Very kind to her. I hate that! And why? Because, you know, this bitch behaves pretty bad! Ugh. Thank goodness your fucking boyfriend, <laughs> yeah, your fucking future boyfriend is a very good guy because if I were him, I would give you a slap right now! Yeah, for real! Ugh. I need a sip of water. Ugh. Damn it. Oh, this fucking Starborn bitch, he can't. Oh, no. oh, what is it, stupid bitch? It's like you said, it's not something I should butt into. I forced a smile when I said it, but I think it might have looked a little sad. <sighs> oh, fuck this. Sorry, it's only natural for you to get angry. Yeah, yeah. Because it's her personality anyway. I'm sorry I tried to meddle in your business. Ah, uh, now she's regretting about that shit, right? Ah, she's regretting about that. Huh? That's all I said. Then I left Kotori's room. Mhm. Mm so see you later, bitch. And this fucking weather, oh my god! The rain continued to drizzle constantly for several days. Oh, damn it. Oh, I hate the rain, you know? It's so fucking annoying. Uh, and you know, here in Peru is summer, and every time it's summer, the rain is pretty common. Oh, I can't stand this, you know? Fuck. 
Since that day, things got strangely awkward between Kotori and me, and we stopped talking face to face. Yeah, I, I understand that, you know? After that fucking conversation, oh my god. If I were you, I would not talk to her, you know? Yeah. I would do the same. Fuck that bitch. It wasn't that we were angry or hated each other. Um, this, that's our. It's not. It's so our. You know. I understand that. We just didn't know how to talk with each other. Mm -hmm. Huh? What is it? Uh, uh, we have nothing to tell, right? And so, I don't know what to say, bitch. Eh? <laughs> Listen to. This little soul Look at Kotori I think she's looking At my big ass dick That I got between my legs Yeah, <laughs> come on! Yeah, you can say that again, girl! あの二人がずっとあの調子だものね。ははは、でもライビッチ。うーん。黙々と働く分、作業効率はむしろアップしてるんだけどな。おリリー。ジェイン。そう、I <笑> But now we remember that Ageha is a fucking war. I'm sorry for saying too much is shit. But I hate this bitch. I remember all her roots. And I wanna keep. Here I say again Because she did me a lot of shitty mad things In her fucking roots Alright, that sounds pretty bad, sorry guys, but I love that shit Ah uh. It's so suffocating? I mean, don't you have air conditioner here? Just open the fucking doors then! <laughs> Sorry! Da yo ne! Da yo ne! Yeah, they are like this because of these motherfuckers, Kotori and Aoi! Just make them speak to each other again! Ugh! Well, at least she's talking to her fucking bitchy friends. Best friends. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> That's it? Oh. <laughs> oh man, they don't know what to talk in front of each other. <laughs> I can't imagine that shit, you know? あの、青いがそこまで落ち込むとはね。uh, they have a, a pretty fucked up conversation, you know? Wow! You know, I think I will have to think about that. Because you were the one who was so bitchy all the time. He just wants to, to, to tell you that you have to see your parents, that's it! Ugh. Damn it. And you're making it worse because you know this bitch always fucked up the, her fucking things. Huh? You want to get his car? Just be a pretty good girl, please. Just be careful yourself. Don't be so fucking bitchy. Ugh. You have to change your personality, you know? I'm telling you. Mm hmm. Yeah, that's right. I don't want to hear that from you, Aoi Kum. Yeah. Fuck this. This fucking bitch. Uh huh. Yeah. What is it? 
Mm-hmm. Well, it should be, I guess. I know running away. Aha. Uh -huh. Where is the shit? Aha. Uh -huh. I don't want to hear that from you. Where is the shit? Ah, here, right? Yeah, sorry. Here. Listen. That's right. Hmm? She was so fucking mean, you know? <sighs> the crypto bitch. Hmm, that's right. I'm sorry, bitch. Ah, you are a fucking whore. Oh, sorry. Again, sorry. Okay, let's repeat the shit. So what is it? Yeah, come on, just, uh, just have a conversation with this guy, or else you're gonna lose him. Yeah, and stop doing that shitty face, ugh. Mm? Mm, that's right. And he left. Yeah, but that wasn't a special occasion because she was a bitch to her fucking sister. Huh? <sighs> Poor Hibari, you know, I felt bad for her. But come on, bitch. You just took him. He has nothing to do with you, eh? I don't understand you, fucking bitch. Yes, right, come on, just talk to that guy again. And I'm still thinking about that. I mean, why do you say that he hates you? Hmm? He must be the one who have to think that shit. Huh? Because you treat him so bad. Ugh. This fucking cunt. Uh. Oh! Oh my god, Amane! It's been a while since I see you! Eh, where the hell have you been? Huh? Sexy lady. <laughs> oh my god! That's right, we are here! With the first version of Orihime. Amane Mochizuki. Yeah, you know, she's like Orihime, but they have different personalities. They are similar in some points, you know? Amaneta. Yeah, I mean, what the hell have you been, huh? Yeah, Don't worry, girl. I'm so fucking happy that you are here. And I miss you so much. I want to drink your juicy milk from your tea. <laughs> Jelly, what the fuck did I say? <laughs> Jelly, sorry, sorry, sorry for that. I wonder if she has milk in her teeth. <laughs> what? Oh, alright. Yeah, they're talking to Aoi, right? Yeah, come on, dude. Uh, even if you tell me to. Uh, I was being pressured by the Kasato sister in the corner of the dock. Ah, oh, damn it. I don't like this our uh, atmosphere either. But demo, demo, mm, even if they tell me to make a wikotori, it's not like we are fighting, so what can I do? Just talk to that bitch, yeah! That's right, come on! But you know, it's cool that we are so fucking efficient right now that they are, that they are, talk, uh, they are not speaking to each other uh, while they are working on the fucking glider like shit! But it's not uh, the real soaring club. Yeah, you get my point, right? Yeah, even this bitch is right. Yeah, 
como a oi sem pai pai that sounds pretty stupid because you are a retard dead guy oh yeah as I grab my arm and swat it pleasantly uh, I don't know why to talk and why I'm singing like this. I don't know I could sing. <laughs> Sorry. Kotori and I had gotten a long way. Oh yeah. Almost to well. But what the fuck just happened? That's my eye in truth. On her family's business. So bluntly like I knew everything But that bitch went too far Yeah, and I really hurt her Mmm, well, so-so, but come on, it's not your fault There was that time I tried to stop Kotori from quitting school and didn't hold anything back mm -hmm, Yeah, I remember I thought she hated me for it, to be honest I thought it would be fine if she hates me for it in order to make her consider different possibilities a little more. I was able to do that because we just just as met. Mm. But this recent recent issue was different. Mm -hmm. I got uncomfortable with our friendship. I intrude into an area she didn't want me to. Oh, damn, damn, damn. I don't want to hear that from you. Oh, it could, could. oh yeah, remember this. Alright? Can I repeat the shit? Yeah, but come on, it's a bit. It's, it's up there, you know? Oh, fuck. Uh, I don't wanna do this shit again. Come on. Sorry, it dudes. Let's continue. Honestly, that was a show. But for me, not. Because this fucking gun is so fucking cool. Sorry. Remembering that makes my heart sink even now. Yeah, I can imagine that. Because of that, I wasn't sure how to talk with her. The distance between us became somewhat uncertain. Of course, I don't want to leave things like this. That's right. When Kotori Angas got drop gouge drops a little, I'll apologize once again. And when will be that shit, huh, dude? Huh? Can you answer that? And there was one more thing I had to tell her. Mm, what is it? Mm, yeah, but when will be that shit? Mm, I wonder. Yeah, promise, 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 pr 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 promise. <laughs> Sorry, that was bad. The problem is I'm aware that Kotori doesn't want an apology. Mm-hmm. So what should I do? All right, I think we're gonna get some cho choices, right? Ah, no, 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 I'm not gonna get that. We're gonna get that shit, but it would be pretty fun if we got some choices, you know? <laughs> the door opened and Areja and Kotori returned to the dock. All right, what we got? And behind them, oh, oh, yeah, Amani. Yeah. Hey, yo, what's good, baby girl? Mmm, it's so nice to see you right now with your nice and juicy jocks. Oh my god! And I wonder, do you have milk on your teeth, girl? <laughs> you know, because I need some milk. <laughs> Sorry, guys, fuck! I'm not seeing like a fucking pervert again. Amani, yeah! Oh yeah! Because I miss you so much. Yeah, just like Kanako. A man entering her unusual carefree fashion, yeah? It was the first time in a while that she'd come here. Mm. Oh, mm hmm, damn right. She said this while looking at the airframe which was nearing completion. All that's left to do is coating on some details. Mm, that's cool. Hmm? Alright, we are gonna get a reunion. With such profounding words, Amani Senpai gather everyone. And this bitch is looking down right now. Come on, bitch! Just concentrate this shit. 
Cotter was conscious of me and hourly avert her eyes. Ugh. Without noticing the atmosphere at all, Amane began talking. Yeah, but, but what do you want to tell us? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, come on, don't worry, baby girl. I heard reply ignoring the unusual bragging about being an adult. <laughs> ah, man. Alright, so what do you want to tell us? Amane took a large sheet of paper out of a long, thin tube she was carrying. Oh! Yeah, maybe the new designs of the new glider, right? Oh? Oh my god! Yeah? She wasn't, she wasn't telling us anything concre concrete, so Aeka got impatient and asked her. Oh, a person for Kotori? Oh, yeah, 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 you mean the copy, right? The... Oh, yeah, that's cool! Yeah, because I remember in Nageka's Roots, when uh, they made the... For Kotori, yeah? Aeka said that Amane did the designs, right? And Aeka... Build the cockpit. Yeah, remember that. What is it? Yeah, it's the cockpit. Your cockpit sheet. Kotori looked at her blankly, taken by surprise. So, on the office PC, the bookmark I found. A bookmark. So, I wrote it. All right. Saying that, she finally managed to spread a sheet. It looked like a blueprint of sorts. But it wasn't a glider, uh-huh. At first, even Aeka didn't know what it was. Uh-huh, yeah, I knew it. Yeah, it... <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, and it has a German design. Mm -hmm. oh, oh my god, I saw this shit on the website. Yeah, but I didn't tell anyone that I was looking for some poor too. Ah, <laughs> sorry. Everyone was surprised by my sudden outburst. Yeah, that's right, because you know where that, that she come, came from, right? Look at this, oh yeah. Why are you scaring, huh? Come on, little girl. Ah. This uh, For disabled people, that's right, come on. Yeah, yeah, we're connecting the roots again, dudes. Huh? Yes, I told you. Yeah, it's your. Cockpit? <laughs> oh. Kotori Kuka writes her head after hearing my Arbus peer at the blueprint again. Mm -hmm. That's right, the German glider manufacturer site. Aha, uh -huh, that's right, because it has a German design. So, so. Yeah, as I told you, I think if we got some parts of the of each route, we could get a whole history of this game. Yeah, and you know, it would be a pretty fun plot for an anime series. Yeah, that could be great. If my heart has wins uh, have an anime series, you know, that would be so fucking cool and awesome. I would love that idea. Anyway. Yeah, and they're gonna make it. Oh, they're gonna make it. Oh, why do you say that, huh? Yeah, come on, just thank her, bitch. With this, you could fly, that's right. Don't you get it? You can fly with this shit. Interrupting Amane, I spontaneously turned to Kotori and spoke fervently. Ah, finally, you know? You could fly the glider with your own hands. Uh huh? How about that? You're fluid, right? <laughs> ah, come on! Kotori looked flabbergasted. Seeing her expression, I remember that we had been talking for several days. Yeah, but now we are talking! <laughs> So it's a bit awkward and surprised at the same time. 
Then I realized that I got a little too happy and felt embarrassed. But I couldn't hold back all that building up happiness. Yeah, it's understandable that situation. Yeah, this is the shit you wanted so badly, you know? Now you can fly! Yeah, really! Kotori, who still didn't fully understand, stared vacantly at the blueprint. ダダをペダルじゃなく手で操作できるようになってる。コックピットを改造する必要は出てくるが。あは。このくらい大したことないですよ。That's but I never thought a man would draw a blueprint for it. Mm. For a short while, Kotori stared blankly at me instead of the, of the blueprint this time. Thank you, Amaneta. You are so fucking welcome, bitch. Yep. Yeah, listen. In me. Listen, what? With that. Une, 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 une. <laughs> Suddenly, Kotori turned her wheelchair around. Hmm? Uh, What's up, bitch? Huh? <sighs> Don't tell me, are you gonna cry? Saying that, she left the dock. I think she's going to cry, right? Oh, damn it. Maybe she's happy, but come on. Oh my god, I don't understand this bitch. I wonder if I had, I was meddling too much again. Ugh. Yeah, don't worry, maybe she's gonna cry of happiness. Let's see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now she's regretting her words, right? Yeah, she will feel so fucking... So fucking guilty for the shit she did the last time. Mm. Yeah, I knew it, she cries! <laughs> I knew it, oh my god, I fucking knew it, dudes! <laughs> How am I main case in this shit, you know? Because it's pretty... Pretty obvious! <laughs> Kotori, ah! Oh, now she's crying. Oh my god, she doesn't, she doesn't hate me! I'm so fucking glad! I was so fucking worried about this. I'm gonna cry like a bitch. Uh, because I'm a bitch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, come on. Yeah, he did that shit just for you. Even though you're a fucking bossy bitch, but come on. He's so in love with you. <sighs> oh my god. Her love is crazy, you know? You, you can love someone even though uh, it's a pussy cunt or whatever the hell that shit is, but oh man. It's your fucking wife. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> yeah. Yukata. 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 Yeah, come on, bitch. Yes, calm the fuck down. Now, go get back. Yeah, wash your face and get back to the fucking dock. Again this fucking weather, what the fuck? I stopped doing this shit, okay great, now, finally! It was the day when the rain which had been falling for a while now, had finally stopped. Thank goodness, because I hate the fucking weather. Alright dudes, I'm gonna end here because I think the video is taking too long. So see you next time. Yeah, get the fuck out of here, slutty bitch. Uh. Come on. Alright, let's see the gallery because we got a... Just one pig, right? Oh, man. Oh, come on, bitch. Uh-huh, you remember these things? Yeah, here. Uh, here, right? Yeah, look at this. Oh my god, I hate Kotori. Oh. What a bossy bitch, huh? I'm telling you. She needs help. Um, I think that's it, right? Yeah, we didn't get anything right now. Oh. Anyway. Thank you so much for watching this, guys. Oh. It was a pretty long ep episode, to be honest. But oh my god. 
I hope now Aoi and Kotori will talk to each other again, you know, after all this this story we got in this in this episode. So anyway, like, comment and subscribe and see you next month. Stay tuned. Matashita.